This video is sponsored by Skillshare, which offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Jordan's messages. I'm going to tell you something right now. If you take my advice and something disastrous happens, I can't be blamed. <laughs> and I will tell you why. It means you didn't take my advice, which with the caveat of I don't have enough information <laughs> to give you exactly the words to say, the thing to do in the specific situation, because you never give me enough. But you somehow write the messages too long, yet don't give me enough. Short them down. Give me enough information, a little bite-sized package. Everybody should take a creative writing class and then write in their messages. I am going to do, this is exactly, Josh, you just gave me the most genius idea ever. I am going to concoct a creative writing course for messages. And it is going to be a how to formulate the greatest message that will 100% get on the show. And it's going to be a, a either one episode or a three part series. And Josh, that will make your life easier. You're not gonna go through 5,000. Every single one will be. be Perfect. Wow, that would be great. Okay, I will start working on this. I could help you by like writing the most boring basic questions or like the most boring basic situations and then you could find ways to make those things interesting. To make them more interesting. That's exact. Okay, Josh and I are gonna start working on this as soon as we're done with this. So let's get to the messages. Hi, Jordan. I have grown up very sheltered, especially in the area of guy-girl relationships. I hugged my friend who was a boy when I was five to say goodbye. And my dad told me, no, this is weird, to never hug a guy until I was like married. To, sorry. To never hug a guy until I was like married. Ever since then, I've been terrified to talk to guys, touch guys, even with the fingernail. What does that mean? As I got older, my friend group started to include some guys, and I'm so awkward with guys. I just want to be, to be able to talk to and hang out with them without thinking, what if he likes me? Or mentally rating how cute he is. I hate this so much, and I don't know how to stop being awkward with guys. Please help me, Jordan. You're a guy. I added that last, you're a guy. Um, your father, he won't ever write in a message, but he's the one who needs to. Dear Jordan, how do I, how, I, I told, this is his message. Dear Jordan, I have told my daughter when she was young to never touch I guy until she's like married. Please help me to uh, fix this scar I have put on my daughter. Um, okay, so y this is not your fault. This is the fault of, well, external sources. external sources. And what you have to do now is get out of your head. Get out of your mind. A lot of people, when they're awkward and they're scared and they, they don't, they don't, what, do I touch him with my fingernail or, or do I, what do I do? Okay. <laughs> You're in. How do I do this? <laughs> you are in your mind. Get out of your mind and think, what is somebody else thinking? Like, be more aware of this situation. You're, you're, you're so inside of your head that you don't even, you, it's like, it's just a, it's a, it's a body. It's a guy, I'm rating him on a scale of one to 10. You, think about him. What is he going through? What are all these people around me going through? What, what external sources have told them that have been kind of weird and maybe scarred them some. You gotta start picking up on these little things, these little factoids, they're everywhere. You'll be amazed when you open up your eyes how each person has one, two, three of all of these little, these little things, these little scars that you like pick up on. And just look, just, and then just weave your way through life and things will come to you and you'll be amazed at how just, less stressed and easier things are when you just you, you look at the perspective of somebody else and you're not always thinking about yourself that's how you get over these these, these kinds of things josh that's what i would say
Hi Taylor Brothers. So I'm in college and I'm from a kind of sheltered but not really Christian home. I became fast friends with the coolest guy I've ever met here at school. He finally asked me out and we are so happy together. Thing is, he has a child. Of course, he let me know before dating and it's not really a secret since he truly loves his two-year-old daughter. He had a girlfriend in high school and they agreed two wrongs don't make a right so they never got married. They both regret their decisions but love their daughter and do everything they can to give her a normal life. How do I act around his daughter and ex? It's really awkward for me, but he says his ex doesn't feel awkward about this. Like I said, I'm from a sheltered-ish family and I don't know if I should encourage this relationship or even suggest he tried to make it work with his ex. I want what's best for his family and I do love this guy, but I feel so awkward and out of place sometimes. Thanks for any advice. Ooh. That is a weighty message right there, Josh, and I am doing my best to come up with the right answer. But Again, I can't be blamed. <laughs> Josh was going to remind me. Honestly, I would know if this guy came walking through the store right now and I talked to him, I would know in approximately five seconds. <laughs> but because I do not have yeah. this guy in the room and yeah. this visualization and his aura and his feeling, okay? Yeah. I am just inside my brain. Mm -hmm. And I can't, I, I don't, I honestly, I do not know, okay? I I don't care about this, this sheltered kind of, like you're using that kind of as an excuse on if, if, if I'm being too weird about that this guy I just met in college has a two year old and I'm like trying to do school and I'm getting in this relationship and I'm hanging out with the two year old and the ex-girlfriend and it all seems pretty, uh, convoluted for somebody who's in college right now just trying to figure out their way and this gets thrown in at you but now Josh sometimes it happens to people and and it works out but look an outside perspective looking in reading that reading this message I I would say you said that you love this guy I don't really believe that <laughs> all right I'm gonna be honest with you I don't I think you think that right now but I think if you let this go in about 10 years, you're going to look back and you're going to say, uh, could it have been great? I don't know and I don't really want to find out because life is pretty good right now where I am. Sometimes you can make life a little too complicated, you know what I mean? Some people, they've complicated their lives, they have, okay? You can choose to get in that complicated mess or you can choose to avoid it and Avoiding it does not make you a bad person at all. It just simplifies your life and um, Again, I would know in five seconds if this guy walked in. <laughs> I honestly would <laughs> Now I know you're watching this right now and are just <laughs> Completely blown away. I mean you can't even believe it. You're asking yourself. How am I learning so much so fast? It's phenomenal. His message is the only place to become this wise this skilled no my friend no. There is one other place you can go to gain new skills. And that place is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. They have something for everyone, regardless of how much you already know going in. We get a lot of messages, messages too, of people asking how they can start making videos without having to spend a bunch of money. I suggest just you check out DIY Filming, Creating Pro Video with Tools You Already Own by Mark Sersosimo. He explains how to get started and it's really great. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. Plus, the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium membership. Again, that's a free trial of premium membership when you click the link in the description below. Now, let's get back to the messages. Hi Jordan and Josh, I recently moved states and changes schools. I don't cuss at all, <laughs> okay? <laughs> But I use words that replace the cuss words. At school, one of my friends dared me to do something that I didn't want to do, so I said the word to replace the cuss word out loud. I, I hope that's not... They put that in quotes, but they... Like, they meant, like, that's they, not a direct quote. That's not a direct quote. All right. I hope not. I mean, I, 
I don't know Jeez. what I hope here. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Then my teacher looks in my direction. There were also some boys behind me wrestling. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if she was looking at me or the boys. <laughs> I go to a Christian school and I am now anxious if I am going to get in trouble. I need pro advice to help me get it. Look, you don't even need pro advice. You need amateur advice for this question. It's not even a hard. Okay, look. look real people have real problems. Did you just hear that last message? Look. <laughs> we're following up a message about an ex-wife, an ex-girlfriend and a guy who never got married, had a two-year-old, now the girl's in college, and now you're talking about you're in, you're in school, and you maybe said flip, and you're scared because there's some kids wrestling in the back, and you don't know if the teacher was looking at you or them? Everybody has a problem, Josh. And the amazing thing, this person signed person, and this girl in college, they have the same exact weight. They're feeling the same weight. It makes me think of problems that I have. Or that convoluted with the girl from the ex and the two year old. And I think to God, it's probably like, this is the easiest thing in the world. It's like the kid saying flip in, in middle school. And I'm sitting here stressed out about it, okay? 100% what, what this person worried person is actually worried about is whether the teacher is going to get in touch with her parents. Okay, look, if they do, lesson learned, okay? And, and the thing, it's like you said, you said something, all right? It's okay. Just try not to, okay? If you get in trouble, I'm sorry, but you'll learn quick. This hasn't damaged your reputation, your life. Your parents will still love you. It'll be fine. Do good in school. Don't get somebody pregnant with a two-year-old. You're gonna you're gonna confuse another person's life later on. They're gonna write me in, and I'm not gonna know what to say. Again, if he came in in five seconds, I would know. You don't need you, the amateur advice. Amateur advice. Okay, you're fine. It's okay. Dear Jordan and Josh, well, last night. I had my first kiss. Oh, there we go, Josh, first kiss. And it was disgusting. So I'm almost 17 and my boyfriend just turned 18. I've been homeschooled my whole life, so consequently, I've always wanted to wait for my first kiss. Not until my wedding or anything. I just, you know, until I was older. My boyfriend knew that. Fast forward to last night, we were in his room. Wow, they wrote this, like, as soon as this happened, they said, I gotta write in Jordan. <laughs> Next day. Fast forward to last night, we were in his room and had been cuddling for a bit oh. when he asked me if he could kiss me. I, to my own extreme surprise, said yes. The first one was, if I put it lightly, off-putting. He asked if he could kiss again. I said yes. This one was worse. It lasted way too long and I had no idea what to do. I don't want my mouth anywhere near anyone else's again. I went home a little later and rinsed my mouth out with mouthwash. I don't regret it. <laughs> But I feel worried, I feel horrible about this whole experience. I feel like I'm disappointing my boyfriend. He is really nice about it and he mostly respects me wanting to wait to kiss again. But I'm worried that I will never enjoy kissing. Is it always a gross thing? Or am I weird for finding my whole thing gross, not romantic in the slice and happy cuddling is normal? Okay, okay, okay. Um. Look, you went a little fast, you did, okay? You, you had these lofty goals, uh, wait long, wait a long time, and it, you know what, too much pressure, can I kiss you? <laughs> okay, terrible. It was the worst experience of your life. Will you recover? Of course. This is pro advice. It is, look, don't let this define your life. I, I feel like this is all I say these days. It's not get away from these people anymore. It's, don't let this moment, this little moment that God looks down on and is like, she said flip. <laughs> the teacher, was it the teacher or the kids wrestling in the back? Which one was it? Okay, do not let this define you. If you let this define your life, it will define your life and it will ruin you. Don't overthink this stuff, okay? You kissed a guy while you were in the room, okay? Probably mistake number one. But you kissed a guy while you were in the room cuddling, okay? Just accept that fact that it happened and don't let it 
let, don't don't let it happen again if this is something that you don't want to be doing and just move on and don't don't think about it it's something that happened and it's gone it's a passing moment that you will never get back that's fine because <laughs> it's gone and you will never look at it you'll never think about it again this guy could just be a bad kisser he could just like opened real wide and like oh and then just like not moved his mouth or lips it just like stayed there like that he she's prob like what do i do he probably did it was it was a rookie mistake okay <laughs> He, it's, look, people, they go, they, they try and go too far. <laughs> it's like, if you're just gonna give somebody, just like, just play it safe. Don't try and do anything weird. <laughs> Why are you doing weird stuff? <laughs> like, just, just kiss somebody, all right? And, and it can't be gross. It's just, why are you doing this weird stuff? Look, to anybody out there who has wasted a first kiss, get over it. Okay, it's fine. Th people, like, they, like, uh, Am I glad that my first kiss was Sarah? Yes, but if it had been somebody else, okay, would I have sat here and psychoanalyzed and tried to not let it define my life? You better believe it. <laughs> I would be doing that every second of the day for years. Don't be like me, okay? That's why I have this job, because I can tell you how not to be like I was. Okay, just don't, don't, don't freak out. God help you don't freak out. Flip out either. Huh? But if you do flip out, don't blame me. I can't be blamed. I actually gave you good advice this time, okay? I cannot be blamed. I can't be blamed if you don't take my advice this time. Okay, take my advice. It was golden, it was pro advice. I gave amateur advice when I needed to. Don't be messy. And leave good messages.